sounds of this neighborhood. This um, building has been here since 1941. It's a long time. The decision to move um, is not without its fear and it's not without its sacrifice. Now some might that not think it's much of a sacrifice because of the fact that you know they're not too happy about the neighborhood and they think the building's old. But others think it, think it is a big sacrifice because of the fact that so many memories are tied up in this place. So much time has been spent in this area that this has been the neighborhood that this church has been at since 1941. And yeah, the neighborhood has changed and the neighbors aren't the same as they were once before. And the world isn't the way it was once before. But it doesn't change the fact that there's still this thought of sacrifice that comes with a move like this. Now the thing that that I bring to the table is the fact that um, I understand and I know that God's got something in store. I understand and I know that God's got something big in mind. Um, I know and I understand that God's got something new in mind and we can't even imagine right now what that new is. We can't even imagine now what it's going to be like, but it's going to be great, whatever it's going to be. It's going to be different, but it's going to be great. And I have that perspective because I'm the new guy. I get to come into the situation uh, untainted by a lot of things. I, I don't have the history. Um, I don't have the baggage. And so that's one of the blessings of the role that I have, is that I have the ability to kind of speak into this situation and uh, to speak into it with the word that God wants. And today, the word that God wants for this hot fudge Sunday is sacrifice. Um, sacrifice all of this in order to receive something even greater. And many of us are, are unwilling to do that in our lives. We hold on to things that we know deep down we shouldn't hold on to. Um, we hold on to practices, we hold on relationships, we hold on to addictions, we, we hold on to things that we know are even bad for us, but we hold on to them because we know them. And uh, this church was facing the same decision. You know, will they hold on to this building and this location because they know it? Will they hold on to this, this building and this location because that's where they're comfortable? And they made a decision not to do that. They made a decision to say, no, we're moving on. We're moving forward. They've made a sacrifice. And uh, I know that God's going to bless that sacrifice. I know that, that something wonderful is going to happen here, that this building is going to be sold to someone who's going to use it to further God's kingdom. We're going to move to a new location to further God's kingdom. And to God be the glory. Everything's going to be great. But right now, it's, it's seen as sacrifice. Um, and sacrifice by our terms has such a negative connotation. Sacrifice by our terms, we define it as um, something that I'm giving up in order to get something else. When God is really saying it's something that you're giving up in order to get something so much better. <laughs> but we don't always see it that way. We see sacrifice as just merely something that I'm giving up. And yeah, uh, we are giving up something. 41 year, uh, 1941, when this church was built, a lot of history has been happen happened here. A lot of baptisms have happened here. A lot of weddings have happened here. A lot of funerals have happened here. A lot of Sunday school classes have happened here. Vacation Bible schools. Um, there's been a lot that has gone on in this place. Um, and yes, there is a sacrifice saying that we're going to step away from that. Not that we're ever going to forget it. We're going to step away from it and we're going to go into a new day. Um, but that sacrifice is going to lead us to something that's even greater than what we have now. And it's the same for you, wherever you happen to be today. Uh, you might be watching this and have no idea where Central Christian Church in Bradenton is. But uh, for some reason, God led you here. And maybe it's just to hear that, that message that uh, God wants you to sacrifice that which is holding you back. Sacrifice that which is comfortable. Sacrifice that which uh, maybe has become your norm so that you can experience something so much greater that God has in store for you. Uh, well, I think that's kind of where I'll leave it today, short and sweet. 
Um, that was our, our passage for today. Oh, by the way, the passage was Luke chapter 9, verses 23 and 24, if you want to look that up, uh, where Jesus talks about taking up your cross and following him. Um, it requires sacrifice, and uh, sacrifice is not a word that we, uh, we take lightly. And I think it's because we have a negative connotation of it. Um, the sacrifice that God wants us to make is a sacrifice that will bring us something so much greater. It's letting go of what we know, letting go of what we're accustomed to, letting go of what we're used to so that we experience something new. Maybe that's the message for you today. Well, however it might be for you, uh, as always, I hope that this week has a great you and uh, you'll join us next week for another edition of Hot Fudge Sunday.